are going to take a W3 school certified HTML quiz test and we're gonna see how it looks like so that before you go ahead with the advanced pro which is $95 and get certified uh, you can check how, what is the difficulty level here and what are the questions which are being prompted when you go for exams see if so this is uh, this is just a quest and so this is just an overview this is not this will not give the entire questions which is there in the examination and it will be a little bit a little bit easier than what the actual competition examination is but it will give you an insight about it so this test contains 40 questions and there is no time limit so that's best uh, because there is no time limit you can think you can give your time you can just think over and analyze in a different way and you will get one point for each correct answer at the end of the uh, quiz your total score will be displayed so maximum score is 40 point so we'll start the quiz we'll click on start the quiz now okay let's see i'm pretty much excited okay the first question is what does HTML stands for this everybody knows it stands for hyper text markup language so we'll just select this the first option oops what happened yeah and we click on next you're waiting for the next question who is making the web standards so we all know w3c is the one who makes the world standard so it's world wide web consortium this is why it's called w3c because it has got three w's before a c okay choose the correct html element for the largest heading so heading are divided into section section by default which is starts from heading one till and ends with heading six so heading one being the highest heading format heading six being the lowest heading format in terms of font so heading one is the largest heading so we'll select heading one what is the correct html element for inserting a line break so in, in order to insert a line break, we use the, the element which is called BR, which is called the break line. So we can select BR and click on next. What is the correct HTML for adding a background color? Now, this is not CSS. They have been asking for HTML. So what comes with html html has got no default coding for, uh, for applying a background so we have to use inline css so the second option which says background uh, as element that there is no such element unless and uh, until you create one using the javascript and a body bg equals to yellow and uh, one more which we have is body style equals to background color yellow so which one do you think is correct i will say the first one because body style background color yellow is the one which is giving an inline style the inline css to the html that apart from body bg yellow because bg is uh, not an attribute so we'll select body style choose the correct html element to define important text so in order to define important text we put uh, emphasize we emphasize a particular text or we make it bold or italic or we make it look different from others so there is no important tag there is uh, we can make strong because bold is again uh, that doesn't look more emphasized bold any text may be bold in, in, in your website but that or in your web page displayed so that will not make any difference so we have something called strong that will not only make it bold but it will make it more emphasizable it will add some uh, uh open color and it will also add some uh, bottle shade shadows and all choose the correct html element to define emphasized text so we have st we have uh, emph for emphasized text we have element em so we will select em here What is the correct HTML for creating a hyperlink? So hyperlinks are created using the anchor elements and we, we tell what is the link which, uh, which we want to redirect to when clicked on the particular text or the anchor is by href attribute. So we'll select, we'll see it's the last one which says a URL, there is no attribute as URL. A name, there is no attribute name. 
first one a then that will definitely make it a hyperlink but if you click on it it will happen nothing will happen it will be on the same page so second option is the correct one number nine which character is used to indicate an end tag so in order to close a tag we use a backslash so, so the second option is the correct one We are waiting for the next question. How can you open a link in a new tab or browser window? How can we open a new tab or new link in a new tab or browser window? That's, uh, that's something uh, important question here. Even I don't know the answer about that. So I would just like the second option because it gives an href as a URL where you, where URL is not the URL which you'll put into, but a URL is, must be a URL for the link to follow and target equals to new that will give it a new tab or a new window option let's see if that's correct or not which of these elements are all table elements so t head is a table elements uh, tr is a table elements table is a table elements tt there is nothing called tt t foot head table so i think this is a correct Inline elements are normally displayed without starting a new line. Inline elements are normally displayed without starting a new line. That's uh, 